All right, so I'm uh, here at the uh, the Dindy's event uh, here at the uh, here at the Pax West, and I'm uh, playing uh, Shante Hefty Hero. Open to Shante Hefty Hero, blah 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 blah. blah. I, I probably shouldn't read the text because yeah, there's like a long line behind me. I could probably like do this as quickly as possible. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you press start, you can usually skip through any any texts that you that you run into. Okay, that's uh, good to know. Uh, and he's falling. It's like a, it's like, yeah. I know it's like the little screen. It's like uh, it's like different animation for Shante. And, uh, yep, just a little bit of uh, yeah, bonus think, animation. I think, you, I think you've avoided this. And uh, if you keep if you keep running, you'll end up being hitting like these cannonballs. And here we go. Nice evasion. Yeah, I believe there was a Kickstarter for this game. That's correct, back in 2013. Really wish I really wish I uh, kickstarted this, but yeah. I mean the I mean the physical copy. Well that I'm as speaking as somebody who's uh public, who's working with the publisher for the physical copy, uh, I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> yep, I'm I'm with XC. Yeah, it, it it's speedy and it's and it's more evasive. Honestly, you're speeding through it. One of the fast one of the faster ones I've seen in the last couple of days. And remember, you do have access to your transformations here, too. So if you want to try out the monkey or something, just press X and you'll open the dance menu. Yeah, I'm going to pan over to you real quick. Yeah, no, no attacks for the monkey, but... Yeah, the monkey's more about the platforming on the I'm not paying attention I apologize to any viewers of this for my, for my uh, poor camera work. I'm sure you're doing, you're doing fine. Oh yeah, I'm looking my hair back and forth. Back and forth. Very nice. I believe I'm at the second part now. Okay. Oh wow, everything is everything is on fire, everything everything's going to hell. Scuttletown really does get attacked an awful lot. Yeah. yeah it's kinda of like the mushroom king in the this universe. It really is. But they're good at rebuilding, let's just say that. Yep, this is the uh, spider venom, which gives you the ability to actually attack with your spider transformation. It's a ranged attack, there's equivalent damage to your fireball, which you can use with R, um, but it's, uh, the spider's not necessarily the most practical transformation for this, for this particular demo. Yeah, yeah, I believe you're speaking like, uh, like, uh, the double jump and it's like, uh, you can't go ahead and, like, pass another platform above you. Yep. Alright. You believe correctly. So, uh, the way you actually use this ability, uh, the guys down below are, are perfectly lined up for it. You cling to the wall as the monkey, and then press away from the wall and attack. So if you can get them lined up, very nice. I love that the monkey bullet is not like a, an att a separate attack. You are the monkey bullet. The monkey bullet was within you all along. There you go. Pretty much the same as the spider venom. So that, so this shield is actually really helpful. Uh, see that guy is there is going to throw that projectile at you, and it bounces it bounces it straight back at him. Uh, one of the things I love about way forward games, and specifically Half Gene Hero, is uh, things are designed with such utility. Like uh, everything has 
a proper use. Like the spider, actually, you can even use this to shortcut through one part of the, the stage. Um, I keep losing. Sorry, I keep lo I keep losing focus here. Here is your boss. Risky boots. Risky boots. Why is that skeleton? Part only organic parts at 10 a.m. Boosh indeed. There we go, two loops. Very nicely done. Uh, thank you. Let's see, one second. You, got to, you still have to stand on the victory podium. Okay. We'll watch as things explode. Did I find everything? You found two out of three secrets, but only a very, very few. The, the third secret requires a tiny bit of backtracking, and only, and only uh, a few people have found it. Okay. That's all right. It gives you something to look forward to for the final game. Well, I'll definitely look forward to that. Well, thank you so much for uh, giving it a go today. Uh, thank you. And uh, I hope I hope my camera work is not too terrible. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, thank you very much, dude. Seriously, it was my pleasure. <laughs> and uh, definitely check out the physical version. I have to say, as a as, as a publisher. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you want me to give you the rundown? The, uh, uh, it's, uh, we're doing a physical version called the Risky Beats Edition. It includes a 79-minute soundtrack with just about every track in the game that wasn't a Kickstarter exclusive track. Uh, it's uh, $29.99, and it will be available day and date with uh, the digital version, uh, which, as of yet, does not have a 100% concrete release date. But I uh, look forward to it this fall. Yeah, Thank you very much. yeah, I know this like, a, but the Amazon keeps updating, updating me like new release dates. Okay. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were hoping for the end of the month, but there was a six or so week delay. We're trying to get it out as soon as we mm. can. Uh, WayForward's also try trying to do the same, so uh, it'll be out when it's ready. All right. Uh, all right. I should probably stop this because I'm holding up the line right now. So uh, thank, thank you very much. For thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's the end of uh, Sunday packs, and uh, both uh, me and Eric have stories to tell, and I'm pretty sure Michael does, but uh, he doesn't want to share a story right now. But maybe, maybe we'll, uh, maybe he'll share a story later on. But uh, I can make no promises at this point. So uh, anyway, uh, Eric says he's here to show us what he what he did today. So uh, why don't you show us what you did today? I got a couple of uh, this nice little bag here from uh, from Castle Crashers. And oh wow! Got a uh, okay, I need to okay focus, please. Okay, yes, pit pit people. <laughs> yeah, I need to get myself like a bag because so, uh, I don't know if like all the like the legendary stuff I got. I don't know if the, are the, those are gonna fit in here as long, along with my other stuff I brought. I got this. Oh, 
I actually got uh, something something similar to that, but uh, I'll show that I'll show that a little bit later. Probably a poster. Yep. And let's see. Um, this is just a. Um... Ooh. Let's see. Online merch store. Fifteen percent off everything. Hmm. Hmm. For show attendees. Oh wow. Where'd you get that? Uh, from the same store. Hmm, awesome. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Uh, let's see. I, th I think that was for one of them. Uh, trying to remember which one is which. Alright, so let's uh, put that one. Well, yep, you, sh you showed me this uh, little hat earlier. Yep. Hmm. We got Espeon, I think you got uh, one more, which I, I, I don't know what, which one it is. I don't think I've seen it. <laughs> My, what big ears you have. <laughs> and what other ears you have. I don't know what, the, what those more things are supposed to be. I always thought it kind of cute. <laughs> Maybe whiskers or something? Or mm. yeah, those are very, really large whiskers, I gotta say. Maybe they're supposed to be flying flying wings, but... Uh, I kind of doubt that. They seem too small for that. I don't know what the purpose is, mm. other than making the character look neat. Yep. And that one is... Uh, what is what is that supposed to be? Oh, this is the one from Behemoth. Oh. So All right. that's, that's so you can actually order stuff from there and get 15% off. Oh. Huh. Uh, so that, so it looks this looks like a bat creature. Like anything? For, is that from anything specific? Well, this is from Castle Crashers. It's called uh, Bitey Bat. <laughs> oh yeah, I think me and yeah me and Erica played uh, Cra Castle Crashers before, though we didn't actually. That was that was before we I decided to do recording stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. One, maybe once I get like a uh, like the recording equipment for the PS3, we should do a let's play that at some point. Or, Definitely. yeah, yeah, make it a four-player Let's Play with, like, uh, David and Michael. Does it actually support four players? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, wow. I just don't have the controllers right now. I also got, uh, got this. It's... It's a key... It's a, uh, lanyard. Oh, uh, that's cool. Um, behemoth. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, the ones the ones we're wearing right now, those are the ones that they basically give give, give to us for free when when we when we first enter the door. Yep. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, my finger was in the shot, uh, but briefly. Okay. Uh, what else you got? Uh, is that it? Oh, uh, I have I I have more. Let's see. Ooh, hoo, hoo, nice, Olimar. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I have Olim Olimar too. I, I got this from the Collectathon. They actually had a uh, Pikachu uh, that you could actually have gotten. They were giving out them to people to ask questions. Oh, which panel was that? That was the. Um, that one is gotta collect them all. Oh wow. So they had a ton of Amiibos and uh, uh, stuff from Lego Dimensions and a couple of other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, speaking of a speaking of Amiibo, like, like, the, the Nintendo Direct, like, announced, like, uh, four new, like, uh, Zelda Amiibo. They, like, they, and I pre-ordered all of them. Like, they have, like, a 8-bit, 8-bit link, uh, Ocarina of Time link, uh, Wind Waker link, and, uh, Z like, Wind Waker Zelda. Yeah, they did talk about, uh, they did talk about them and how the collecting got them into it and like with Spyro and stuff like that and all right all right but they said that uh, the Nintendo did stuff that was a lot better a lot higher quality in wow. terms of collecting <laughs> and I also got this uh, what is that this is a uh, Game Boy this is a GameCube to Game Boy Advance connection oh wow I think like only a few were com games were compatible, like uh, Final Fantasy Explorers and uh, 
and Zelda four sorts of ventures come to mind, although I think Mario Golf and Mario Mario Tennis also supported it. Oh, oh, Crystal Chronicles. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Four Swords Adventures, so I kind of know that. Yeah. And the other one... You know what? Uh, yeah, I, re I, realized, I realized I missed an opportunity, but I'll get to that I when mean, we get to that. It's pretty unlikely that you'd ever be able to get, like, four Game Boy Advances and four, like, um... It's like four, uh... Let the uh, cables together and a GameCube and a copy of Four Swords Adventures. Together. And then the wait, and that, the recording that, equipment to record heck, everything. But that would, yeah, but that would make one heck of a let's play, you know? You yeah. Know, actually, speaking of that, I actually do have two. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. I'd only have to get two more. Um, well, or we could figure out if you could em if uh, compatible with emulation. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I've got a headache, so I'm gonna like be okay. Just to give a little update, um, I mostly spent the day playing uh, RPGs at the uh, oh, I, for, I forget what it was called, the the thing where you sign up for our story RPG. Oh yeah, the like, thing you did that yesterday. Yeah, I spent most of the day doing that with different games, and uh, we had a good time. Yep. Nah, I just noticed her sure like storing Archer, Danger Zone President. Do you like uh, Archer? I've never really seen it. I just got it this part of Loot Crate. Oh. By the way, Loot, Loot Crate, if you want to um, sponsor our videos, that would be awesome. Well, of course, by our videos, you mean my videos, which I, that you guys are lucky to be in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Uh, and, I, and now, just as quickly as I appeared, I disappear. Ooh. Brave thing. All right, uh, so Eric, do you have anything else you, else to yeah. show or? Uh, I, think I, I think I do have some. All right, stuff, uh, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, make it quick because I want to get to my segment, and I'm, I'm really excited about my. Oh, what what is this? Uh, this is. Uh, oh man, and it, the glare. Okay, wow. Let's see. Oh, mm. pink got pink gorilla games. Wow. Yeah, they actually, um, that's the, that's the place where I got this little cable. They actually have, uh, old games, uh, including the, uh, Famicom version. Oh, Eric, you think maybe you could get, go there tomorrow and get, like, enough cables for four people? I mean... I, I think I can check if they have another one, but this was the only one they had, had today. Hmm. Yeah, if we can get four cable, if we can somehow get four cables, four Game Boy Advances, a GameCube, and a means to record every all of the screens, like the TV and the Game Boy screens, then we might be able to pull off a Let's Play. I do have a Wii, which does support the four cables. Yes. I don't have the game, but I do have two games. I used games. to have the game, but I sold it. I, I'm like, stupid. I, like, I don't have the game, but I could probably get it sent over from home. In fact, like, but, I don't know. Oh, but, as a side right. note, apparently, yeah. Like, yeah. apparently the, the Dolphin emulator does actually have uh, the capacity to run, like, I don't know, what, what's it called? Okay. Uh, game Boy, like, uh, Game uh. Boy Advance connector cable stuff. All right, uh, we're getting, we're kind of getting a bit off track here, and uh, you know I only have like two gigs left of memory, so oh, okay. all right. So we, so Eric, we need to we need to hurry up and uh, get, get the rest of the stuff out of the way. Yeah. I got this this magic card deck. Uh, wow, so that's four magic card decks I, so far. How much did you pay for all that? Is that black? Hold on. How much did you pay for all those all those? Like server sets. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry, oh. I showed you that one yesterday. All right. Um, I. All right. Got got a CD. Someone stalked me and gave me the CD. Oh. Oh, that's cool. The boogie berry something and a couple of. Uh, that's Arc. All right. Oh, that's the new one. Yeah. How much did you pay for all these magic decks? They're free. Uh, 
Yeah, I went there. I couldn't find where they were giving away the free stuff. Maybe it, it, it's in. Yeah. It's by the Paramount Theater. You have yeah, to... yeah. I've been, to, I've been, I've been in that area. I just couldn't find the place where you could get them for free. And yeah, it's uh, behind it. You have to go uh, out the theater and make a. Left. Oh, where the tents are. Bes- where the tents are, but you have to go to to left to the right of the tents, but to the left there's a, a secret entrance like a fire exit. Oh, and then this gets, isn't like an this isn't like an underground thing, is it? Like it's a, an official part of PAX, right? It's official part. All right, cool. And that's a second lanyard I got. You gotta watch out for those counterfeiters, man. All right. Uh, oh, there's like a there's a pen on the bed here. Is that yours? I don't think it's mine because I. Think well, it's definitely it's definitely not mine. It says uh, PP, like PP, like. PPL14, I think it's like a Pokemon badge. Are you sure that's not yours? Because that feels like something that would be yours. Well, I guess, I guess it's probably might be mine. It might have fell. But it's possible that the maid just, like, put down the bed as, like, a present or something. Mm-hmm. Like, well, I, mean, be... I mean, the receptionist was, was, like, a PAX fan, like a gamer, so I that wouldn't surprise me. That would be probably a very nice thing if she did that. All right. Um, I wish I had. I wish I knew where everything else was. But well, I guess. I guess while you're doing that, I guess I'll go to my my segment. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Okay, so basically, I um, what did I what did I do first? Um, shit, now I don't remember what I did first. But uh, yeah. Yeah, basically, I went to the Runaway Guys uh, Throne Controllers panel, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was really sweet. Like, I got there, I got there really early, and uh, I uh, got the, I, I was like in the third row, and uh, I th- and they were all still doing like a Twitch live stream of it. You could probably see me like uh, stretching my arms, and uh, yeah, my my my, my Discord group was uh, watching it as well, and they were, and they were. And yeah, I, they were hoping I could like uh, get on there, like uh, actually participate, but uh, they didn't. Sadly, they did not call my number, unfortunately. But uh, ap- but afterwards, like uh, they they had like a meet and greet, and I actually I actually got to meet them, and uh, they they signed they signed the card that they gave, gave us at the beginning of the panel, and uh, and I and I actually like. Uh, Got them to talk to like talk to my my Discord group through the through the Discord app. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was, that was that probably like the it's probably gonna be like the highlight of packs. I don't think like anything's gonna top it. Although one thing did come close, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I like before that I went to the Nindy's event and uh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I gotta get I gotta show them like the stuff I geared. Yep. So basically, I uh, sorry, Michael. So yeah, basically, I got the three pins here that they were giving away. I got one representing like the games I play. Like I, I played a uh, Shante uh, Half Genie Hero, which I also did like a like a like a video of the, of me playing it, and I'll I'll probably put put it up like a. Uh, Put it up like maybe maybe before this video. I'm not. I, I I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna release this release the content. And I also played like the like like uh, Noi to Love uh, Devolution, the 3DS version. There's also gonna be a Wii U version. That's that's the version I'm probably gonna download. Oh, yeah, that's the one they were advertising on the uh, on the uh, escalator. Oh yeah. Yeah. The fun fact: the Noi to Love is a uh, evolution backwards. Yep, and I also played a uh, fast racing Neo mostly because uh, that line was the fastest, and I want to get my three pins like quickly because yeah, for three for three pins you can get like a Nindy shirt, and uh, uh, yeah, I probably should have uh, brought my backpack with me before I started, but uh, that's fine. Let's see. All right. Okay. Okay, I got a poster as well, but I'll, I'll show that a little bit later. That, anyway, this is the. Uh, at, Eric, could you hold that? Heard the shot? Sure. sure. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, it's hashtag Nindies, and the, on the back, it's a uh, Nintendo eShop. Yeah, pretty basic shirt, but uh, it's pretty nice. Another Nintendo shirt to go along with my other Nintendo shirt. I need to get more Nintendo shirts. 
Oh yeah, I, and I also uh, went to like the Expo Hall, Expo Hall, like uh, the Nintendo area where they were showing off like uh, the the Yokai Watch Two and uh, Dragon Quest Seven. Okay, um, uh, and I also there's like also an area where you could like pre-order like Sun, Pokemon Sun or Moon, and uh, you get a free poster with it. Well, I actually did pre-order like uh, Pokemon Sun, and I and they gave me this uh, awesome poster. Yeah, you have the you have the option to like uh, either have it like like rolled up or uh, just uh, just uh, like just flat flat. Yeah, I rolled it up because uh, yeah, otherwise it would not fit in my backpack, and I did not want to carry it like the entire time. But yeah, this is bas basically it's the poster. It's like you I, you can see like all the different Pokemon. There's you got this like black Meowth. Hmm. Let's see, it's like like a cool cat. Come on, focus, damn you, focus! Exquisite! <laughs> yep. yep, I get it. Let's see. We got we got the two two star legendaries here. Yep. I'm sorry, this is like really bad camera work. I apologize. Yeah. Do you want me to hold it? No, yeah, sure, why don't you do that? Alright. Okay, cool. Um, and yeah, so after the Runaway Guys panel, I did another, another, did another like uh, another tournament, the Mario Golf tournament, and uh, Abdallah Smash was was there as well, and uh, I got to I got to thank him for uh, getting me started on my YouTube channel. That was that was really awesome, and uh, surprisingly, he got knocked out first round, which is wow. I I didn't think that guy could ever lose, but uh, yeah, and yeah, I I got. So so close to winning a medal, but I got screwed over at the last minute again. Yep, first Sonic Adventure 2, then uh, Mario Strikers Charge, and now Mario Golf. Yep, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing like two more tournaments, like uh, the Mario Mario like Mario Tennis Open and uh, Mario Kart 64. So I basically only have two chances left to take home a medal. Uh, okay, so, yeah, that was pretty much uh, my entire day, I think. I mean, I did other stuff, but uh, those aren't really as much interesting. Uh, so, Eric, uh, do you have anything else you want to show? Um, I don't have anything else to show, but I actually saw a couple of uh, different uh, characters. I saw Spyro the Dragon, uh, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, yeah I, saw, I saw a guy in a Ratchet and Clank costume. I took a picture of that. I also, I also saw Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah, I saw Banjo Kazooie too, but uh, I didn't take a picture of that. Was, uh, but I did take a picture of a, a Luigi guy like driving a little go kart. I also saw someone dressed up as an espion. <laughs> I, I saw like a group of people like uh, dressed up as toads, like like oh, like different yeah, colored was... toads. All yeah. right, all right. This video is getting way too long, and I only have like a like a gig and a quarter left. So uh, join us next time for. The Monday update, assuming, of course, I have enough room for it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. You want to say something, Michael? Yeah, Michael doesn't care. <laughs>